Alrighty guys, hello, I am back for another episode of um, Let's Play Minecraft on the Zotcraft server. We are joined by Alicia, Micro and Trevor, who is a new guy on the server. And yeah, Trevor died, Micro's died, Alicia hasn't died, I've died three times. So to start off this episode, I'm going to be a bit quieter because my parents are asleep, but to start off this episode, this is coming along fantastically. We've got a lot of food from this. Currently I'm on potatoes, but I'm pretty sure the main thing you guys want to see is what I have been doing. Now those who have been watching carefully you may notice this has changed significantly. If we break that you can sort of see what is what is coming ahead in the near future. So yeah, um, this is going to be expanded free wide. I haven't got around to digging it out yet because we have Something in this bit here, but I'm not going to show you what it is because this episode is all about this. I've been working on this all day long. TJ came and helped me finish building it, so it got done a lot faster. And I have all the sheep in, all of the pens built. Uh, finished off the scene because obviously there was two, wall two walls short for each of these. But I have each of the pens done. I still like this one the most. This this colour scheme matches really well. All of these done. I've decided that I'm going to put a staircase or something in this area. I don't know what yet though. But I thought, you know what, to finish this off, I'll bring you guys along and we'll die this sheep together. Just just because you've been a part of this process the entire time. So first off, two black sheep, one. Two. There we go. Two black sheep, and we'll get some. Have them breed a new black sheep. Pop, and there's a baby black sheep. Next, ooh, let's just get all the dice. We don't have uh, grey. We don't have a light grey, so we're gonna want some of this. I'm pretty sure I remember how to make all the dice. So these are the next two colours of the rainbow. The ceiling isn't done yet. Um, and I've still got to put some more lighting in. So we've got light grey. There we go. Two light grey sheep. They can have sex and produce a child. Two grey sheep. They can have sex and produce a child. That's all. That's all the boring colours out of the way, isn't it? Okay. So that's done. Hmm. So we want the blues next. So we've got light blue, we want the rose red, we want the dandelion, we want the cactus, we want the lime, the ink sacks, magenta, orange, cyan, and some bone meal, just so we can make the remaining colours. Don't believe I have any lapis, so we're going to have to go back and get some lapis. But that's not, yeah, well, let's go and get some lapis. But yeah, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. It's turned out pretty well. The only issue is I've now got to, as you can see, come through here and redesign this entire tunnel, like starting from down there somewhere. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm probably, I was thinking about having it come out like over here somewhere. And I don't know yet. There's a lot, there's a lot of options I can do. And, but yeah, I've done a lot of redesigning up and around here. So we sure I gave Alicia uh TJ gave me an Everstar which I then gave to Alicia because she needed it and I didn't need it that much. So let's say thank you to TJ for supplying Alicia with a Neverstar. Let's get four of this, just in case we want to make more purple. So yeah, thanks to TJ for that. Should check out Alicia's base in a minute as soon as I finish. Well, we'll see. We'll see how long this bit segment goes on for. And then we'll decide what we're gonna do next. Okay, so that one's done. Light blue. Let's get some white and some lapis and another light blue sheep. There we go. They can have babies. Uh, and two blue sheep who then can have children as well. Children for all. Lime. We're going to need to combine this to make the lime die. We'll finish with that. Ah, oh, these lime sheep are so sexy. Uh, oh my god, I punched him. Sorry, sheep. Uh, cyan. I've still got loads of cyan dye. 
So there we go. You can have children. Oh, this one doesn't want to have child. Come here. Have sex. Make me a lime sheep. There you go. Pop goes a sheep feed. Uh, magenta. This is pink, so we're going to want one of these. Dupe and dupe. And they can have kids. Uh, cactus green. Have kids. The green looks a lot lighter than the actual green. Hmm. But whatever. This is purple, and to make purple, we want this. I spent hours earlier on, and by hours, I mean like 20 minutes working out how to make purple dye. I just could not remember. This is magenta. I'm gonna have to stop by the surface and make some wheat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and get some wheat before we continue with this. But we're almost done. So close. I can break this now. See, as you can see, it. I've ripped all this redstone out and there's still a lot to do. Oh, he's gone. Or she, I don't know, I'm assuming it's a he. But that person is gone. He didn't even say bye. Bye then. There we go, I said bye for him. Yeah, let's come up to the surface, get the wheat, fill in a hole if I have any dirt in this house. No, we'll have to get some dirt from this chest. Do 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 do. Push this open. I've been all the sheep that are in this pen have been pushed down through that hole. Most of the sheep that you see down there push themselves down. So I've had to do very little work to get them down. Uh, so let's harvest this. And just gonna quickly harvest it. And it's all harvested and replanted. And if you hear any static noises, that would be Alicia. Bitch. You're recording while I don't even have a mic? Correct. That's why I'm going to kick you out of the call for a second while I finish this episode. Alright. Uh. And she is gone. And you just heard a sky sound. But whatever. So, we have harvested the wheat and I've got 16. That's because I used some of it already. And by some of it I mean about four stacks. <laughs> right, so let me head down here, into here, jump this. We are almost done. Blue. Oh, almost done. Purple, magenta, yellow, and red next. These two are my favourite colours because they just look so good together. That's yellow. We've done lime. Want the rose red. And rose red. Check. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're so close. We don't have cocoa beans. What the fuck? No, TJ gave us cocoa beans. He, should, he gave us loads of cocoa beans. Okay, there. Everyone's had children. Ah, uh, right. Let me go and get some cocoa beans. I know TJ gave me some, but I don't know where they are. There they are. This is it. The brown sheep is the last sheep to be dyed. And then we are sort of done with the sheep farm. I mean, like, the main principle of the sheep farm is that I've still got to do this for, actually. And the ceiling. And some other stuff, but... You know, it's mostly done. So there we go. They can have sex. And kaboo! Right, so there we go. Anyone on the server wants to use a sheep farm, feel free. I'm going to keep breeding the sheep for a little bit so we have a few more of them to breed. But yeah, here you go. All the sheep are here. And I haven't bred these two. These two didn't get bred. So yeah. Wait, do not tell me that has escaped the pen. What the hell? That's the blue sheep. Where the hell did he get? How, how did he escape? Okay. They can just have sex. Goodbye. Well, that was amazing. I don't know how he managed that. Did he, like, walk all the way around, maybe? Can a little bastard escape? Oh, yeah, this one's escaped. Into here. Okay. Oh, the pink one has escaped. Hmm. Hmm. I had not thought of this. This is a slight dilemma. Um. Well, look, I'm sure it'll be fine. Like once they grow up, I just have to like keep an eye on sheep population in this area. The big ones can't fit through. So you're grown up. You're grown up. You're grown up. You're not grown up. 
Right, so yeah, um, I am going to finish up a few more things with this sheep farm, and then I'll bring you back when we're finished for good, and yeah, so I'll see you in a minute. Hey everyone, we're back playing another episode on the Zuckcross server. Today we're starting off in Alicia's house to see what she has been doing. Uh, also, we have some sounds, you may notice that as I open the chest. It appears she's moved all her stuff. There's a strange house slab. That's my chest. I have 12 blocks. Uh, she has a secret chest here that is not so secret anymore. Boop. Uh, sign, there used to be a sign here that's gone. There used to be a diamond block. But no, that's gone. My rose is still here. It's in a picture frame now. This is a really bad fireplace still. Enchanting room. Aha. Storage and potions and 46. I guess she's in 46. Also, Alicia's gone on a journey because there was a horse here. I want to open that see what's in it. Uh-oh. There's for cool. Uh, right. So this episode I was going to be all like, oh, look at all the stuff, what could I be building? And I was like, hey, I wanted to play this morning, so I didn't do that. This entrance has changed. I was going to get around to fixing it, but I never did, so I'll just leave that to Alicia. But yeah, so we'll head back to town. I gave Alicia a never started with a big I think I may have mentioned that in the last episode. But yeah, so we'll head back into town. And I'll show you what I've been working on a little bit, and what we're going to be doing for the rest of this episode. Because this is like a new day now. The last, the rest of the, the last half of the episode was recorded like at midnight yesterday. And this is now a Monday, I've just got home from college, and I'm pretty hyperactive at this point. So, let me show you what I did before I went to college this morning. And then we'll get on with some stuff. Now, if you can guess what this is, like when I get there, I'll tell you. But I mean, you can just about see it there. If you can guess what I'm about to show you, yeah, here we go. If you can, I'll start this here. If you can guess what this and this is, you know, post in the comments below what you think these two things are. Uh, slime has just fallen down here. Oh shit, I and I have fallen. That goes down. But yeah, if you can guess what these two things are, post in the comments and you will win something. I don't know what yet, but you will win something. Alicia is excluded from playing this game because she already knows what it is because I was talking to her earlier about it. But anyone else, feel free to guess what that is. Post in the comments. Right, let's go to what I'm sure you've all tuned in for. Let's empty a bit of my inventory, in fact all of my inventory. Uh, let's get these on the hotbar. Also, I was just watching the last couple of clips back, and I noticed that something was having a bit of an overflow incident, and it's this. Okay. Yeah, we've got a few feathers, so let's let's empty these and refill it. There we go. And we'll have to put these feathers into a bulk storage because we're probably going to be getting a lot of them, so we'll stick them up here for now. If anyone wants feathers who plays on this server, feel free to take some. I'm probably going to have more than I'm ever going to need at this point. So, I have done this. I've put the floor in. I've expanded this. This is open because I'm still doing stuff. Shut up, sheep. This has got some colours. There's pressure plates here. This is all done. Now, this doesn't always work, and I'm not sure if it's because of server lag. But yes, we have a doorway. See, it doesn't always work, and I, I think it's because the server is like, Unless it's just a time delay on it, because it works like that straight away. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have to step on it twice for it to work again. Now, I don't know what's causing it, but we'll go and look at the redstone, and I'll explain it the best I can. <laughs> Which is not very well, let me put it that way. Uh, what's this? That's floor. Well, we can come down here. So the pressure plate is under this block, and this goes into a T flip flop, which you can see. Oh, it's currently in here, and goes boop, which sends, you know, either sends power or no power to this. It puts power into the repeater, which, it turns with you, is probably causing the set having to step on it twice. So then the power comes down to this, which activates the entire piston door. This one repeater activates the entire piston door. The other pressure plate brings signal round the back to here, and that's how that works. But you can see basically a double extender, so we get the middle blocks, and that's about as good I'm going to explain it because that's as good as I can explain it. 
But we'll shot this. We'll like wait a few seconds to see if this. But if you can work out why the door doesn't like open on the first try, then post in the comments too. But see, that's the first try. Currently, there's no power getting to it. Maybe if we put more items in here is the only thing that I can think. Of. Let's see. Currently, I've just broken it now. So we'll take that out. <laughs> Okay, so we'll step on it. That gives power to that. And we'll t step on it. Which then takes away the signal and puts it in here. So when I step on it again, it puts it around one more time. Okay. So what if we... Can we... I don't want to break anything. I need to get to that. I'm just thinking, if we put another item in here, how is this going to affect things? Because that's currently, that's going to shoot up. Right, let's try it now. Let's sort of step on the pressure plate. Once. That opens the door. Step on it again. And it breaks the door. Okay. At least, at least we know where we're at now. We've broken the door. Fantastic. So let's take this out of the system. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so we've managed to severely break this door. Because the rag used to be here. Pretty sure. No, the blue used to be. I'm pretty sure there used to be a piston there, I'm not sure though. Oh, what have we done? There we go, we fixed the door. We also know why this isn't working now, as well. What is happening? Uh oh, I've broken my door. Lol lol, I have broken it. Oh, fucking hey. Right, let's um, get this in. But yeah, if you can work out how to fix it, it's, it's like... I think, what's that's hitting that, and it's sending power to this. In this entire system, but it only goes like one one dropper at a time. So we need to find a way to like double pulse it, I think, is the only way I'm gonna fix this. Let's see, once and then the next one will make it. What have I done to my poor door? Oh dear, this was not the plan for this episode. The plan for this episode wasn't let's take a look at my door, break the door, and then work out how to fix the door. That wasn't the point of this. But Oh, where the hell has this come from? What have we done? That redstone's still there. Oh dear crap. Um, this this is what's the problem, I think. That is the problem. If we put this back, is that gonna fix the door? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, one, two. Yes, it did fix the door. Okay. Put this here. Which is where it went originally. Once again, no choice. Okay, but uh, how, uh, this is something I'm going to need your help on because I don't know how to fix this, so it only has to step on the pressure plate once. So if you know, please post in the comments below and I will be much appreciated. So, right, let's shut this door. <laughs> So this this is a plan, so I'll do that and this is how it would work. So you know, I step on it, I run through, and it closes behind me. That's the plan. Now let's move on with the episodes. <laughs> right, we're gonna want all of this stuff. I've been gathering resources again. I've got a bit too much done. <laughs> but you know. So today we're going to want a workbench. These sheep I'm gonna turn the sounds off because these sheep are gonna piss me off. Oh god, right, sound's gone. No more sounds. Peaceful, thank the lord. Right, so this episode, we're going to be working on storage for the wall. We'll show where that goes in a minute. Uh oh, we're in trouble. How, is there a slime chunk? No, this, I know where this guy came from. Oh, good thing I have my looting sword out, actually. But right, so, to start off with, we're going to want some birch. See if I can remember how to build this. Let's start off with that. Then it's one, two, three, four. Uh, white is the first colour. 
So we're going to want white going this many blocks back. And then white will come up here. I think that's right so far. That can't be right so far. Um, probably is right so far. No, I know it's missing so far. I don't know why I keep saying so far. Uh, we're going to want some carpet like that. Some chests like so. No, the carpet does not go there. Oh, I get free carpet. I'm going to have spare carpet. Put that up. Yeah. We... Eh. There we go. Ta da! And we're going to do this for all of them. I won't bring you along for all of it. I'll sort of break the recording in a minute. Uh, the next colour we're going to have is light grey because that's the colour on this side. And it comes up like so. And then we'll get the carpet of this colour. And trapped chests. We're going to need these. Get these off my bar. And then we'll put the trapped chests in, like so. Put that and that. Do still open for a carpet, which is why we're using carpet. My only concern, I did this wall, is gonna be this. This is gonna look very strange. So I may redesign this wall and this wall and put something else there. But for now, we'll say YOLO. I believe light blue is the next colour. Uh, yellow, pink, magenta. It does look like light. Yeah, it's light blue. Then lime. Light blue and then lime. I'm just going to do this one lime because there's a bit in the middle that like breaks it all up. Which I want to show you how, I, how I've got around that. So we'll put light blue in. Get the light blue carpet. Normal chest. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. There we go. Put that away. And the final one on this side is lime. I haven't thought of lighting in this design. I must admit that. When you're in creative doing these things, you don't go, oh shit, lighting. Huh, how did I forget about that? Uh, right, normal chests. I've got plenty of wood if I don't have enough chests. I didn't calculate the exact amount of chests. And then, this is going to be the midpoint. So we are going to... Put a wall here, so to speak. I'm pretty sure this is pine wood actually in the middle. We're going to leave that out. Uh, that's going to be the other colours. So we'll, this comes across. And this is where we will put a wall in. Like so. Like that. Wall here. Wall. Everyone loves a good old wall. Yes, you're thinking it's a very plain, it's a very boring wall, I agree, but, you know, it's a wall, and it's job, you won't see this wall, ever, I mean, you can see it here, that's the, like, if you, you have to look very carefully, then you can see all the way down, but, on this side, there'll be more wall, so, yeah, uh, I haven't got any pine wood on me, so, we'll get that in a minute, but I'm pretty sure you get the picture of what is going on here, grey, I didn't dug this floor out. I thought I did. I thought I dug all the floor out, but apparently I didn't. Grey. Blue. Who knows what the next colour is, because I don't. It's magenta. Cyan. Magenta's that one. I meant cyan. God, I'm a terrible person. I can't even. I don't even know my colours, apparently. So, I'm pretty sure you get the picture at this point. So I will let you go and bring you back when I have finished it all. So time skip. And I is back. Just taking a run through the sheep farm and all. This place still needs lighting up and roof on the work. But I'm waiting on suggestions from you guys. And for the final touches, we'll go for this. We're going to add a bit of... Ceiling glowstone. It doesn't need it. This is just for aesthetic purposes only. Just to look that there's actually real lighting. There's hidden lighting above these carpets. So there we have it. That is 90% of the sheet farm done. We got the pens. Don't know what I'm going to do with this this bit here yet. I'm probably going to cover it up with something eventually. Uh, we still have to work on this bit. This entrance and this entrance. But I will do it all off camera and show you when we show you as an update of what's happening but I'm not gonna put you know the uh, 
item frames are the color of wool in because it's very visible what color what chest is. So that's yeah, we're done. This is the last sheep farm episode. Next, well, it's not the last you're gonna see the sheep farm, but this is the last you know full episode that I'm dedicating to it. I just noticed they're missing house labs. But yeah, this is the last full episode that I am dedicating to the sheep farm. So take one last good look. Gryffindor here. Good Gryffindor sheep. Before we end the episode though, I'm probably sure most of you are wondering where this tunnel goes. And I feel obliged to show you. Now you may remember this from earlier on when we had that slime problem. Ta-da! Yes, we're here. It comes out in this circle, which I'm still not going to tell you what it is until next episode. So I'll see if you can work it out. I'll give it like a few days, but see if you can work out what these two circles are going to be. Now I'll give you a hint. This is the only one that's going to have a staircase going down at this present time. That goes to Brendan's house. I've got to fix this tunnel now. Like I've got to dig around this circle and connect it back to my base. But well, no. Or I'll just leave it like this, stick a horse in here and have it come down and Brendan will have to go through the sheep farm. Which I'm probably a bit more inclined to do. Just so people have to walk through the sheep farm. <laughs> but we will see. Uh, another thing that I'm tempted on doing is taking this tunnel out because this goes to wet the circle down here. But we'll see with that too. This needs to be done up now. This horse needs to come out. A lot of this needs to be ripped up and redone. I don't think I showed you. I did move the chest around in the zombie farm. And then we'll come down. Ooh. See, I've stacked them here. These are the chests that need to be moved upstairs. But you can see these have been stacked up. Uh, before we end, I want to check to see where the, if we've got any slimes in here. Slimes do spawn in here, but I, I don't know which side, which is what I'm trying to work out at the minute. But, it's, nice. it's too high up. Hey look, a baby zombie. I don't know where he came from. It's sort of a bit too high up at the minute though, because like, slimes to spawn, because I'm always like really close. So I, I've i seen them spawn in here before, and I'm going to dig it down whichever side they are spawning. They're spawning on that side or this side, and I don't know. So we're going to wait and see. Just keep waiting it out. And So yeah, I think that is it. So say goodbye to the sheep farm. We've got plenty of food. I mean, still, the zombie spawner, I've taken out the zombie spawner because I'm never going to use it. I already have one. They don't. There's no purpose. So I'm going to put something else down here. I don't know what yet. Yeah. Next episode, we will be working on the circles, and you will find out what they are. I may do something with this as well. I mean, oh, there's a secret door here. But I may do something with that. I was going to put a vault down there, but I don't know. Other things I want to do, I want to work on this tunnel a bit, build some more tunnels, work on this, this is going to be the bedroom, with some iron, I'll snag that before someone else does, yeah this is going to be my bedroom where my bed eventually goes, I need to finish this, this has been like like that for the longest of times, so I'll get that done, do we have any iron, yes we do, any, any iron, where any iron, nope, so yeah I want to keep working on that as I go, and that is about it really. Probably next time you see me I'll be more needless tunnels that go to strange wonderful places. But yeah, so there we go, sheep farm is done. A hundred percent done. By a hundred percent I mean a hundred percent of what I'm going to be doing for now. <laughs> Cause obviously I've still gotta do the ceiling. But I'm waiting on your guys' suggestions for that. So until that happens, there will never be a ceiling in there. So there we go closed just like this video is closing see you next time i hope you've enjoyed remember to like and subscribe i'll close this off and yeah goodbye